I'm Andy Dean. I'm Chief Executive at Community Action Northumberland, CAN for short. Warm Hubs is a, is a really big flagship project for us. And actually, at its heart, it's really quite simple because what we've done is we've taken what already exists in a lot of uh, village halls and other venues around the, the county where there are really successful uh, drop-ins for people, um, uh, meals been put on for older people, for uh, different, different groups of people, uh, and uh, an opportunity for people to socialise, giving a bit of structure to that, a um, uh, bit of process, and actually uh, made people that are already doing those, those um, sort of activities more confident about what they're doing, enable them to do more, and actually encourage other venues around the county to, uh, to follow suit. And it's amazing how enthusiastic all the volunteers, and that's what's at the heart of this, volunteers making these things happen. Um, how enthusiastic they've been and how willing around the county uh, additional people and additional venues have been to take on the whole Warm Hubs concept. Warm Hubs as a project has been funded right from the outset by Northern Gas Networks and we're really incredibly grateful to them for that because um, I think they took a bit of a flyer really because it was a concept that we had that they developed with us but we trialled um, and it worked really well. Um, so we started off with a small number of Warm Hubs uh, in the north of the county and that's spread like wildfire. Uh, Warm Hubs has, has won a whole series of awards including uh, a big national award which was the Community Action Award which was fantastic and a number of local awards as well. Um, and the whole initiative actually started from uh, one of our members of my team, uh, Christine, up in the north. And it started from her observing people and seeing the, the sort of isolation that so many people suffer and trying to find a different way uh, around that. And Warm Hubs, uh, we thought might be the answer. It turns out actually it is. Uh, Tom Bell, Head of Social Strategy for Northern Gas Networks. Uh, I became aware, uh, I, in fact I was approached by Community Action Northumberland about an idea that they had about two and a half years ago and it was to create a warm hub. This was a new idea, it was something that was kind of intriguing. Within Northern Gas Networks, we're kind of about providing energy and heat um, and making, uh, making people um, more effectively use the energy that they've got. And the idea of the warm hubs was really to bring people and energy together. Um, and it was born out of a concept where perhaps some people don't have the, um, uh, have the finances to be able to heat the home effectively. So the idea of having a safe, secure environment friendly, relaxed, where people can come together, um, they can actually benefit from um, a warm, safe environment, but at the same time they can actually get a, deal of, a great deal of social interaction that perhaps might be something in more rural areas is a little bit more of a challenge, kind of intrigued me. So we decided that we run a pilot scheme. The pilot was run and I remember very clearly um, Christine from Community Action Northumberland talking about what she was going to do. She was going to renovate buildings, she was going to open kitchens, she was going to train people, um, she was going to give energy advice and for a fairly modest investment and I kind of didn't think it could be done but I was very pleased that she proved me wrong. Very early we found that the success of the Warm Hub was to actually meet the, the needs of the local communities, to start to look at the challenges within a community, look to identify volunteers in a suitable environment and then bring all those three things together. The pilot was very successful and we went on to, uh, to agree to fund the scheme for a further three years. Um, we're now two years into the scheme and what we're finding is that the success of the scheme, such as the, uh, the event that we're at today, um, each of them varies uh, but the success of them is very clear and evident to see. And we've been really, really pleased, in fact delighted at the success that Community Action Northumberland have had through a significant amount of work and time that they've invested in, um, in Warm Hubs. Um, so much so that we're now starting to look at actually moving them into more urban areas and we're working at actually starting to move them into, uh, into Newcastle um, so we can actually start to look at some of the challenges in more um, urban environments. We now have a good handle of some of the issues and challenges around um, living in rural areas um, and by bringing together that learning with what we'll actually pick up from an urban area will give us a really mixed bag to look to see how we can actually roll the scheme out um, further. I'm Jane Scott and I'm the priest in charge of St Bartholomew's at Whittingham and St John the Baptist Edlingham with Bolton Chapel. Three very small churches, or three small communities should I say, in rural Northumberland. We've now installed a, a servery and uh, we've got all the facilities we need to serve morning coffee, cake and hopefully some lunches later on. We've just held a meeting and uh, 
we've decided that we'll be open two mornings a week from 9 till 11 welcoming everybody uh, there'll be no charge everyone's welcome to come and just join in and meet each other and have somewhere to stay uh, one lady's already said to me who's uh, lived in Whittingham most of her life it'll be lovely to have somewhere to go to and I think that's really what we're all about to have somewhere because at the moment there just isn't there's nowhere that people can just meet up and chat what we tried to achieve was uh, a kitchen that didn't look like a kitchen it looked like a church kitchen and I think that's what we've done it, it's not the first thing you notice when you come into church but you but I think people do notice it and uh, we've got all as I say all the facilities that we need we've got a dishwasher We've got a fridge, we've got a cooker, so that it's, make, it's easy for those people working in it and it also, I think, is a welcoming space. And how it can best be used and how it can be used to get everybody together, who those people might be. My name's Fiona Calder and I'm the administrator for the North Northumberland Voluntary Forum, which is based in Berwick-upon-Tweed. This warm hub that we hold here is actually um, an urban warm hub in comparison to some of the rural ones. The warm hub that we hold every month is in partnership with the Royal British Legion and we hold what's called a naffy break um, by providing coffee, tea and refreshments and an opportunity for ex-veterans, service personnel, friends and family to meet in a warm and friendly environment. We've benefited by the Warm Hub by having LED lighting fitted throughout the centre which has reduced our energy costs and has enabled us to monitor our energy usage. Uh, the, the Berwick Voluntary Centre um, is a centre with a number of resident organisations. In addition, the building is used by numerous voluntary and community organisations and a few statutory organisations hire out our conference facilities and also our interview rooms. Yeah, I'm James. Um, I work with uh, Groundwork North East. Um, I'm a project officer, but uh, got involved in um, with a colleague uh, the men's shed project from from the start. And um, we had a pilot year, and uh, we kind of um, over that year we kind of drew in a few different people. And the um, uh, the warm hub. Um, Christine uh, introduced us to, to that, and um, it was a way of finding um, a way of making the group more sustainable so it's not it, although groundwork has been involved and for uh, a, a little bit we we found some funding that we can continue to be involved that the group could run independently so finding ways of making that happen and the warm hub has helped um, obviously in terms of um, first aid training uh, in terms of uh, a grant towards some of the tools because it is a men's shed a way of making sure that we have um, something to focus on or the group has something to focus on and being able to use the tools which are coming in very handy already um, and so warm hubs helped us to, to do that we get our um, warm food from next door uh, we have tea and coffee in here. I think it, it's one of the things that's helped us to help the group to realize that it can be self-sustaining and have a little bit of momentum um, whilst Groundworks involvement kind of pulls back a bit so yeah, the Warm Hub's kind of stepped in at the right time for a, a good transition so something that Groundwork did to something that the group itself now does so that's, that's been very good. Right, my name is George, uh, I'm working in Men's Sheds as a member of uh, the group of people who uh, are doing various little projects um, I'm a robotics engineer by trade, but uh, while things are slack at the moment, I thought I'd join Men's Sheds and uh, do a little bit of woodwork. With having a few more skills with joinery, uh, it's good to actually pass a few of the skills on to the lads who are working here and uh, help them along the way, you know. Uh, so it's uh, quite interesting to actually be able to teach people as well as do little projects myself. You know? Hello there, I'm Christine Hunter, I'm a church warden here at Holy Trinity Church in Embleton and I'm part of a large team that um, out with the outreach here from this parish hall room. It's a, a small room but it fits the purpose for a lot of activities here. 
Right, a while ago, um, Christine came to us to talk about village agents and if anybody would be interested in being involved in that and helping people in the community that we meet. And that moved us forward to the warm hubs. Christine came again and helped us with making the facility appropriate for warm hubs. We've got central heating now, the place has been decorated. Now that we've got, you know, we've got fresh curtains, new windows, electricity and a brand new kitchen and a purpose-built toilet for the disabled. So now this, this uh, room is perfect for so many different events uh, for, from the very young to the very, very elderly. We started off having uh, coffee mornings and uh, they've extended now from just not once a week or twice a week. We now have coffee mornings four times a week and that's for everybody to visit, 10 till 12. Now we've got Mother's Union coming to use the room, women's clubs um, and we've got uh, the children and mothers coming for Trinity Tots on a Thursday afternoon. It's becoming a popular venue for people to hire. Today we've got a group of uh, parents with small babies coming for paediatric first aid training, which is uh, essential for living in such a rural area. We're a long way from medical care. So that first aid training is so very important to us. So we're looking for, forward to that this afternoon. Hello, my name is Steve Forster and I work for Together Newcastle, which is a partnership project between the Diocese of Newcastle and the Church Urban Fund and our role is to work with churches and community groups encouraging um, them to engage with their neighbourhood and uh, do all sorts of activities that um, respond to an identified need in the community and that's anywhere between uh, Tyne and Tweed. Together in Newcastle we're really interested in developing the Warm Hubs um, way of working or the Warm Hubs initiative um, because we've become increasingly aware through our work and through our links with churches that a large amount of people are becoming lonely and quite isolated and uh, we're thinking of developing it particularly in the urban areas of the diocese which is across North Tyneside in Newcastle. And for all um, the areas that we'd be working in are built up and there's lots of houses and people live close to one another, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not lonely or isolated. And the thing that we like about Warm Hubs it is simple in its um, idea. It means that we can work with churches who often have groups of people who could become volunteers and use the spaces that churches have. And the huge benefit of Warm Hubs is that there, there is um, an impact on the community and the neighborhood because it begins to draw people together, brings them out of their sense of loneliness and isolation so that eventually people can get involved in actually delivering the Warm Hub itself. It's simple in its concept in as much as it can start with um, offering a cup of tea or coffee and a biscuit, as simple as that. And the key element of it though is that the friendship and the sense of belonging that people hopefully get as a result of getting involved with Warm Hubs. I'm Norman Hooks, I'm Chairman of the Community Associations Board. We actually started this, what we call Tuesday Club, we actually started it back in 2011 when we found out that the Meals on Wheels service was being ended here in Stocksfield and many of the volunteers who were drivers, deliverers and cooks didn't really want it to end so some of them got together and we recruited lots more volunteers and out of all that came what we now call Tuesday Club. We serve hot meals to those people who come along, for those people who can't get here. We deliver meals out. In fact, I've been out this morning to deliver to two addresses for people who can't, can't get here. And people who come regularly, if they're not very well and they ring up and say they're not well enough to come, we'll take them the meal that they would have had if they'd been well enough to come. We've got approximately 30 volunteers who are split up into 
teams so that teams of three cooks, teams of three volunteers who, who help serve the food and socialize and play Scrabble and do all sorts of things with the people who come along. Lots of activities going on. We've started carpet bowls from the word go. We've had, we've had whist going on. In fact, some of them probably only come to play cards. We're actually set up probably several years before the warm hub scheme came into into existence and we'd been running in initially with some support from the from the uh, what is now the Royal Voluntary Service um, and when warm hubs became available and we knew about it we were happy to be part of it possibly one of their first warm hubs we've benefited considerably from from the support that we've had from from it uh, obviously we've got to put our cooks through through uh, food hygiene level two qualifications, which we do through through Christine arranges through through warm hubs, uh, we've received uh, lots of support in the, in terms of energy e efficiency from from them for for this building. Um, we've uh, had carbon monoxide training, and all the people who come to our Tuesday club have had a, a carbon monoxide monitor. We've had energy monitors so quite a lot has, has, has happened because of warm hubs and melna and i were having a conversation and she really enjoys it as do i because we both love singing and um, when i was talking to melna melna said oh what a lovely idea to set up a group after maybe Tuesday Club, um, because perhaps people who went to Tuesday Club could stay on and, and have that uh, opportunity to sing. <clears throat> so um, Melna and uh, Christine, they, they sort of um, organised getting it off the ground, and I just happened to come along um, and sort of lead the group. And it brings back memories. Um, no matter what kind of song we sing, Today is different because we haven't had a chat, but in between songs, people actually want to chat about a memory that that particular song has brought back to them. And um, it's really, it evokes a lot of memories for the whole crowd in the room. So yes, it's a nice group and it's, yeah. it's lovely to do. I lived in Stocksfield for over 40 years and then I had to move away and I moved to Prudhoe to live with my daughter. And I sort of lost touch with a lot of friends until Ruth asked, rang me up one day and said, why don't you come to the Tuesday Club? Mm -hmm. And it's been wonderful because I've met up with my old friends, mm -hmm. I've made new friends, and it's been yeah. a lifesaver really. It really is. Wonderful. wonderful. It's the sort of thing that should be in all villages because lots of people, as you get older, you, maybe you can't drive anymore, and that is a place where you can meet up, and you don't have to feel so lonely anymore. It, it's it's really one of the nicest things I think in the village. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just and also those people that bring us here for those of us that are disabled to get out of four walls. I think I'm the newest the newest member here. I think so. And I've been coming about eight weeks now, and um, I couldn't come last week, and it's just not the same, you know. Yeah. I've made so many friends, thank yeah. you. No, oh, well, we're all friends. <laughs> Audio clicks. Be heard.